hear that, that we're trying to educate people out there to make an understanding that, hey, there is a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. And we just don't want you to get it done the wrong way. There are a lot of, there are a lot of wrong ways to do it. There's only one, one right, right way to do it. Absolutely. Whether it's siding, windows, roof, whatever it is, whatever it is. Well, the show's called Your Valuable Home. And we had uh, actually started the Your Valuable Home approximately eight years ago. Yeah, and eight years ago. What I've been doing is I'm a contractor. I started my business in 1989. And from there, about five years into it, understanding the construction of how things are going, times are changing. Developments, advanced improvements in technology, where I wanted to further educate myself. So through that time, I've worked on doing that and educating the consumer so when they're looking to purchase a home or do remodeling, we can educate them, then give them the right job so they know exactly what they're getting into. But over time, over the course of time, what happened was more and more of the wannabe contractors coming into the situation of, hey, we can do this, and they just don't understand the makeup of doing a right job. That's where a lot of these shows came out, but just on education, but just on the entertainment side. So about eight years ago, uh, after my company winning various awards and magazine covers that we were on, Ron and I got introduced through another contact, and uh, Ron came up with the concept of taking that to a radio show to educate consumers. So that's how the, this all started. For the last five years, we've been on the show. Show me that problem. What would that cost be? So a good contractor is going to be able to do that for you. And they can't say, well, I don't know. There should be a good point where a good contractor is, is educated enough to give enough proper advice to give you the price ahead of time on most of the things, not saying all everything, but some of the things, they should be able to, to give that to you so you're not knee deep in uh, a project where it, it's unattainable and cost that you can't afford to do it right. Your valuable home. Your valuable home, and we're all about educating the consumer. We do it in a way that uh, very few, if any other, people do it on the air, whether television or radio. And uh, it's a matter of, you know, if you were, were to have new windows installed, what are you looking for? What makes it right versus wrong? And that's what we try to, that's the kind of education we try to instill in people in all this. They're maintenance. They are maintenance no matter what. Even if you buy a new house, they're, they're maintenance. There's things that an owner needs to do to make sure that that property is well maintained. Because one thing I, I will say with insurance companies, if you neglect to maintain your home and something's rotting out, the insurance company is not going to cover because they're going to go lack of maintenance. You right. still need to maintain the house. You couldn't cover it as a claim. Insurance is there for accidental, not maintenance. So that's one thing that homeowners we really need to make sure that the insurance companies are designed to do that, not for fixing up the place. What are like some of the most requests that you get when people call in or on an email? Like, what are some of the things they're asking or responding to? Well, most of them that do respond are usually the ones responding after. They usually have somebody contract and do the job. And a lot of the requests lately have been, hey, listen, we've got a job done incorrectly, we're having problems with the contractor, the windows are leaking, the siding's falling down, the workmanship's terrible. So how can we fix the problem? So, And that's when it's too late. So what I try to let our listeners know every week on the show is to contact us before. Listen, I, I'm not here to, to solicit my business to everybody across the nation. I just want to educate people. I want to be able to tell people, hey, listen, here's the way it should be done. And this is the only way it should be done. By doing it this way, yes, it's going to cost more money. Absolutely, it's going to cost more money. But you're going to be getting a job done, done right, and then you're done with it. Because the horror stories of people that they're having is they have to go through the nightmare of having this work completely ripped out and redone again. And I ask them, well, how's it been through the family life going through all this? And that's where it gets difficult because now your house is ripped apart for six, seven months when the job should have been done two to three weeks and done and over with. So yeah, you might spend 10% more for a legitimate, honest, good contractor, but that's the money well worth spent. It's just that people just don't understand you when they say, hey, listen, homeowners, do your homework. What is your homework? I ask them, what is your homework? And you're saying, do your homework. Tell me what it is with windows or siding or a kitchen. Nobody really knows. So most of the time people are sitting behind a computer saying, hey, I can push a button. And that's gonna make a difference because everybody writes online reviews and it's gotta be corrected and nobody lies on the internet. And that's where we found a lot of the problems. We've talked about uh, online referral companies. And I spoke to a few of them and I said, hey, listen, I understand you have a write-up and it's based on write-ups. But have you been to Texas, Arkansas, Florida, California, inspect the work, see that that contractor did exactly what he was going to say from start to finish. That was covered up through that whole process. Did he clean? Did he show up every day? No, they said it's just people writing in. I said, I have 50 friends. I could have them write the same article up, and that's a great. And that happens all the time. And that's we had a, a 
a blast of people calling in saying we used a lot of the online referral companies and that's what had happened because there's no way to police that. A police is all it is, it's just somebody making a bad report up. But if the bad contractors are in, they start the company and they have these problems, they can shut down their company just saying they're a bad business person and then start another company out with no recourse. So we're trying to educate the people on how to get the best valued contractor, get the job done right, make sure when you get an estimate, because when people get estimates, and, and being, we had talked about, if you gave you an estimate for Windows, what's the first thing you're going to look at when you open that estimate up? How much it costs? How much it costs. So everybody does. And everybody does the same thing. So what we try to do is show you how to break down that estimate, evaluate building material, how to pick a contractor, and that's the, the guts of the show. It really makes a good standing on how the job's done right by doing it that way. But as we found out, people say to me, hey, listen, it costs more money to do it that way, but you're going to get the job done right. Our show has, each show has three segments. Uh, one is a replay, that's generally a, um, a project that Kevin's got in, in, in progress or has just finished. The next one is a horror story, and we never have a lack of horror stories. Everybody's got a horror story. You probably had them, I had them, he had them. Uh, everybody's got a horror story. And then the last one is the uh, Home Improvement College, we call it, where we interview experts in a lot of different industries all over the country. I mean, if you went out of here, if you walk out of here right now and you ask five people on the street, um, do they know about the proper way to install windows if they're buying windows? They, they're going to say no. Sorry, they're going to say no. So we tell people what to look for. We interview experts from all over the country uh, to get at the, uh, the, the, the good information that, to communicate to our listeners, and uh, it works. I mean, this is, uh, we just started in January, and we started our fifth year right here. So we've been around for a while. Exploring different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities different mentality today. today. It seems, it seems hard. hard. It seems it challenging. Seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard, hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else, else is a challenge. Is a challenge. challenge. Um, um, so, 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 I'm ready for, I'm this, ready challenge. for this challenge. And I was built, and I was built 